guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna just chill and get ready together because last week I saw a few comments saying that people were sick of my like little short videos with tutorials which I can totally understand. I would get bored after watching a few of those. So today we're gonna get ready together. I'm literally gonna talk nonsense. I didn't have that much to talk about today. Everything seems to be going all right. So apart from my dog Drogba being nuts, life is good, life is well. And I was saying, or you'll hear me say about cameras. So there's a few things that I need you to comment below about. You need to tell me about cameras. You need to tell me what kind of videos. You need to tell me when and if you would like me to vlog and I would like to know what you want me to vlog about and I'd like to know where to go in Thailand when I go and those are like the main things, I'm sure I'll mention more things throughout the video but those are the things that I would like to see down in the comments feel free to number them 1 to 5 and give me appropriate answers like in a, like a pop quiz or a test yeah, like a spelling test so if you could do that I would just be delighted and as always, I will list everything that I use down below in the description box. And if you would like to see how I got ready today, please stay tuned. This is the extent of the hair that I do on a daily basis. So it takes about 10 seconds. Um, but if you'd like to see how I did my makeup today and watch me talk absolute nonsense, stay tuned. And let's get ready together. I had a hellish morning. You. You. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry baby Joel, but Mama needs to get ready. Don't you steal anything. Go away. Go and lie down. Please, please just go and lie down. Let me just quickly explain a few things. You might notice that I am rather swollen and bruised in the middle of my eyes. That would be because my beautiful puppy, Drogba, decided to throw a bone at my head with his mouth and it hit me literally square between the eyes and it, it's it's really sore it's really sore and then when I thought I couldn't love him any less he peed all over my bed all over my bed so I've been ready to film for about three hours and I had to go and change and wash my sheets because they were covered in dog pee which is delightful so yeah apart from that everything's just hunky dory I haven't really done one of these before, so I guess I'm just going to start talking. But let's do makeup at the same time. So this is my new fave thing. This is Lush's new moisturiser called Magical Moringa. It's amazing. It's quite it's quite solid, so it feels almost like a solid oil. And then when you put it on, it's it is matte. You only need a little bit as well, and. It's like a matte moisturiser that's a primer as well and I am completely obsessed. So yeah guys, um, I'm not very interesting. I'm not that interesting. What can I tell you? So if you've got me on Twitter, which is jamie underscore genevieve, you may have seen me talking about maybe vlogging in the future, which is a bit nuts for me but yeah, I'm thinking about doing it. Very scary. Uh, I'm going to go use my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Dip Brow Pomade. Anastasia, as I would call her, because I'm not American. I'm just going to use a little MAC 208 angle brush. And my Dip Brow has really started to dry out, so I've just been mixing it with Inglot Duraline, and that's been saving my life. So let's just start doing that. I've pretty much narrowed it down to two different cameras. Oh my god, I'm really spotty as well, I apologise. Spot, bruise, and I tweezed my eyebrow off by accident. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Hold yourself together. The camera I'm either going to get is the Canon G7X or the Sony A5100. If you've got either of those cameras, let me know. Let me know what one's good. And all I need it for is to take pictures for Instagram because I am so over using my phone, it's my least favourite thing in the world. So taking pictures for Instagram and for recording vlogs, which would be fun. Don't really know what I'm going to vlog about, considering I'm not interesting. 
But yeah, if you've got any ideas for that as well, let me know because I don't know what to vlog about. I know some of you wanted to see my house. I've not done that yet because my house is a mess. It's an absolute riot. I'm saving up currently to get quite a lot of work done. Like I need a new kitchen, I need a new bathroom, I need it rewired. What else do I need? Painted floors. I want the carpets off, I want the floors all sanded. So yeah, it literally like doesn't look like how I want it to look whatsoever. If you still want to see it, I could do that. I don't know why you would want to though, because it's not very nice. I've made it cute, it's, it's, like, it's a total Aladdin's cave, that's what my boyfriend calls it, that's what Jack says, he says it's Aladdin's cave of junk. Because I love clutter. I just think, see when you go in like someone's house and it's pure pristine, I get nervous about sitting down anywhere. I like it to be a little bit like lived in so I can just chill. And I don't need to worry about spilling stuff. Because boy do I spill. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for more of a natural brow today, guys. Just filling in the tail and flicking the front through. Right, and now I'm going to go in with some tinted brow gel. This is Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to flick the front up and comb through the rest of the brow. I'm much more chill with my makeup these days. I, I quite like it. I'm doing a lot more kind of natural stuff and saving the like wild, bold, bold, bold makeup for when I go out and stuff like that. So I actually look slightly different because when you're glam all day every day, when you're not glam everyone thinks that you're dying of a really serious illness and I have to say to people, no, I just don't have that much makeup on today. This is real life me. Sorry about it. Okay, now I'm going in with Kevin Kwan Skin Enhancer in SX07. And I'm just going to carve out my lovely natural brows that I've done today. I'm just using a little Illamasqua angle brush. My dog's in a huff with me because I gave him in trouble for peeing on my bed. Fair enough though, who does that? So rude. So rude. The saddest thing of the week. I gave my notice and it lush. Which makes me really sad because it was a great job. It was really good. It was so chilled out. Everyone was lovely. But I had to leave. Because of you guys actually. Because of you guys. What I'm going to do is with my spare day, I'm going to try and record video number two of the week. So what do you think? Do you think videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays or videos on Mondays and Thursdays? Let me know down below because that is the plan. Also, someone actually said this on Twitter, one video can be like makeup and then another one, like say a Tuesday, can be like a vlog. This is taking me absolutely ages. And I'm just blending in that concealer to make it not as crazy. Cover up that battle scar that the dog gave me. I've got my Magical Moringa moisturiser on as my primer. And I'm going to go in with Illamasqua Skin Base, as always. I'm going to do my foundation next, which I don't usually do, but I've started doing it recently because it makes me tackle my eye makeup a bit differently, which I'm trying to do because no one wants to be the same all the time. And I'm just using a highlighter brush from Illamasqua to roughly blend that in before I beauty blend over top. I love this foundation. This foundation gives me life. It gives me life. I just kind of roughly buff this in when I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to beauty blend over to the top. So I'm just kind of covering my face. Okay, roughly got that on. I'm going to go in with the... So my battery died, my camera got full. Let's see what else can happen to me today. Next step, MAC BB Cream in the shade Dark Deep. I think this might be the darkest shade. And I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just take some of that product and we're literally just going to stipple that on all around my face. So good. Mm. Talking about being brown, I booked me and Jack to go to Thailand in January which I pretty much dream about every day. So if any of you know where's good in Phuket, Koh Samui and Bangkok, 
please tell me because I went to Thailand when I was like 17 and I was like a delinquent, I was too young, didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it, but I didn't do anything. I, d I didn't like travel about or anything like that. So I'd really like to see more this time. So if any of you know where to go, where's good, please let me know so me and Jack can go and have fun together. And I'm just going to go over that BB cream with a Real Techniques, Real Techniques? That's nice. A Real Techniques contour brush. Contour brush. And I'm just buffing that into the foundation so it's not as obvious. I love this stuff. I mean, like how brown I am. Oh, I probably will just use like a BB cream on holiday. I talk about it like it's next week. I'm literally not going away for another like five months or something disgusting like that. <laughs> I want to go away now. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the foundation still left over my hand. And I'm just going to tidy up that contour. Perfect. Right, okay. Let's try a brand new product. This is Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in... Audrey, like the name, like Audrey Hepburn, and I'm really buzzing to try this, so I'm just going to go on top of my cheeks. I'm just using a Smashbox fan brush, one of my new faves. Oh, hi! This is good. Oh, look how good that is. Holy crap. Look at that. Amazing. Good job, Gerard Cosmetics. This is genuinely the first time I've put this on my face. Wow. Oh, hey. So yeah, the makeup I'm doing right now, this is like what we're doing today. I've got a couple of appointments at my salon at like later on. That's pretty much all I'm doing today. And then recording this video, obviously, and putting it up on the tube. But apart from that, I'm chilling today. Thursdays are a good day. I'm obsessed with this. Everyone's gonna ask me what's on my face. Everyone's gonna ask me what's on my face. Fab. It's very yellow, I will say that, but whatever. Changes it up a bit, you know? I'm so used to wearing like soft and gentle, which is super pink. This definitely makes for a nice change. And I like that it's got this to stop it from smashing. So yeah, once you're done, you like clip over that little plastic bit and then you close. Cute packaging. I'll get I'll give them that too. Have that as well. Right, let's do our eyes. So I'm going to use Elizabeth Arden Advanced Eye Fix Primer. This is amazing by the way. I know Elizabeth Arden's like, I don't know, people don't really think about it as makeup as much. But the stuff's really good. I'm just going to put that on over. Just using my middle finger. Does anyone else get really upset when the postman doesn't come? Like I always get excited that I think, I don't know, someone might send me a postcard or something. And I get nothing. Also, the postman definitely comes whatever time of the day fancies it now. They used to always be here before I went to school. Like, if you were getting post, you know you, you know that you were getting it before you went to school. What a difference. What a different, it's a different, ge a different generation. My top lip is like the most highlighted guy in the world. And I love it. Okay, let's do the eyes. We're going to use, I've not used it in ages, the Vegas Lights Palette by Makeup Geek. Beautiful. So I'm going to start off with the shade Mirage, which is like the lightest one. Like everything, see on top of this primer, everything just goes on so smooth. And it just sticks like straight away, it's amazing. Putting a little bit of that lighter shade on my brows. Bone, my brow bone. See I just have a minimal look right now, what's wrong with me? I'm so boring. Uh, I'm going to go in the colour Desert Sand, which is this one here, and it's just like a really nice matte camel colour. So we're going to do matte first, and I'm going to go right in the crease. I love that shade. Maybe I'll just do this all over. Drag that colour underneath my eye. I think as soon as you do that, you look so awake, it's so backwards, it's like drawing a eye bag underneath to cover your real eye bags. I am absolutely obsessed with Jaclyn Hill at the moment. I think she is my spirit animal. See the post she did with what's in her travel bag. I'm going to go and buy it all. See, because I'm going away somewhere, I just want to prepare myself properly for the first time in my life. I want to have like a phone charger, like a little portable one. I want to have nice headphones for the plane. I'm so excited. 
let's leave that there just now. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the lighter shade Mirage again and just go over my lid to make that super bright. And I think I'll get a light inner corner today. So I'm going to use a small, no this isn't really small, but it's the Luxe Crease Brush from Zweeva and I'm going to go in with the shade Bereving, which is just here. And I'm just going to darken up my outer corner. But just a little. So I've just darkened that crease on the outside a little bit. I think I'm going to bring the shadow up a little bit. Yeah, so I'm just getting my brow and I'm just flicking out the corner a little bit just so it's not so round. Let's go in. Right guys, this is a new thing that I'm obsessed with. Nabla, you might have heard me talk about them before. This like Italian brand, I'm sure it's Milan. Um, Magic Pencil is like a concealer pencil but it's the only thing that is thick enough to actually properly paint the waterline cream coloured which makes your eyes look massive so let's do that. It's the best, it's so bright. You can use it for like round your brows and stuff as well but I think it's a bit light for that. And let's do mascara. I'm going to use the MAC Upward Lash in black which is the one with the tiny little brush. I made some eyelashes, I didn't make them I wish. Uh, I stuck two pairs together that I'd worn already. Um, Eldora B178s and Eldora B176 I'm sure. Let's put some glue on these lashes. Okay, let's wait for those lashes to dry. So, if I'm planning to do more videos, I'm definitely going to need your guys' help with ideas. So, I was thinking, like, if there's any specific videos you want to see, like, I might do another makeup collection one. That was quite... I've actually never done that before. But I might, like, talk you through what I've got. This is, like, all my own stuff that I have here. And then I've got all my kit in the salon. So, maybe I could take my camera and do a video in the salon. And I can show you how, like, I store my kit and stuff like that. We could do a hair tutorial with Jasmine, who works in Onyx with me, where I've got, I don't know if you've got, if you've got me on Instagram, you'll have seen it before, but it's like the big bouncy blow dry. We could do that. Flat tour, if you really want to see it, I will show, I think. I could even do, like, a room at a time or something like that. Let's put these eyelashes on. I could do, like, a video with my favourite brushes, actually. That might be a good one because I'm quite obsessed with brushes. Yeah, so these lashes have been stuck together so the band's quite thick on them, which is much better if you've got eyeliner on it and I've not done that today. Whoa. Oh my God, they're my favorite. That is genuinely the best eyelashes I've ever worn in my life. And I made them, kind of. Okay, let's do lips. I have another new thing. Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lip Colour in Serenity. So it's like a kind of nudie pink, but I feel like I never used to wear pink on the lips and now that I've got kind of pink hair, I love it. So we're going to start off by lining the lips with Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, an iconic nude favourite lip liner at the moment. <laughs> Look at the difference. Okay, now we've lined our lips a lot. Let's go in with this lip colour. I've not tried this yet, I'm very excited. That lip colour is wunderbar. Wunderbar. Cute! I'm gonna have to change my top. Someone on Twitter said the name Vivette. Other YouTubers I know have like little like nice names for their, their, their followers and I want one. I want one. I think it's really cute. So I kind of asked people on Twitter what do you think and what someone said, I can't remember who, what she's called which is really bad but she said um, the little, the little Vivettes and I was like I completely love that. So I think I'm going to start calling you the Vivettes. If you are opposed to this please let me know if you have any better names let me know as well someone said the jamie jenny viewers but that's like 
it took me like 10 seconds to be like, what? I was like, what, what? Oh, viewer, I get it, I get it. So I quite love Vive. Let me know what you think before I start like calling you all and you're like, what? why is she calling me a Vive? I'm not a Vive. I don't know what a Vive is. So this is your chance to have input into what I'm going to reference to you guys as from now on. Bye!